Welcome back to HTC E5 Trailer Tours Part 2. 11 more owners share their mods and what they would do differently if they were to order their trailer today. So sit back and be inspired. Hi, I've got Brian with me. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you bought this one used. I did, yeah. Right. So what is something, if you were gonna order it today for yourself and not have a used one, what would you do differently? Well, I got pretty lucky because there were a lot of the boxes were already checked. Mm -hmm. um, but I would think the only thing I may do different or would have done differently is the previous owner installed an AC, the um, Zero Breeze AC mm -hmm. in the bunks, the okay. bottom bunk. Yep. So I think just because it takes up that space for yeah. my boys, mm -hmm. um, may have done it on the outside. Mm -hmm. But I also like that it's secure on the inside. So it's hard to say if I would have. <laughs> done it that way but yep. it's nice to have the AC and I know I wouldn't have done the rooftop one because I like the tent up top. So. Okay so um, did this come with the tent on the rooftop tent on no, already? No that's how I graduated to hikers because I already had the tent. Okay. I had it on the back of my truck. Yep. And then it just it wasn't enough space for my boys and I so mm -hmm. I was like I need a little more space and found you guys and the the hiker Yep. universe and I'm from Indiana so perfect naturally I had to go with the hiker so. <laughs> right and what's a mod that you've done on your trailer since you've gotten it um haven't done a whole lot they had a stock AGM mm -hmm. 60 amp hour battery I changed that to the 100 amp hour lithium yep um and I installed a on off quick connect thing yep um because it didn't have one for whatever reason and and then I threw a, um, a small refrigerator in the, in the tongue box oh, as well. Okay. So um, I installed um, just power directly to the battery. So nice. with the little cigarette plug. All right, so what is, this is a different style camp stove. Yeah, so it's the GSI Pinnacle Pro, I believe. Yeah, the Pinnacle Pro. And the reason I liked it is it, it folds down real thin. So if you're limited on space like Which we you are, are in, in a hikers, hiker, yes. Um, it folds down real easy. I'll show it. So the lock here folds this down, and then the legs fold in. That is super thin. Real thin. And, and then, then it's got, yeah. Yeah, I really liked it because of the flexible gas line here. So I know in some of them, you got the fixed, fixed line, and you can't, if you're in limited space, you can't really maneuver it right. So you can, you can put this, put the can wherever you need to. Um, so that is slick. It's it's nice. It's a little pricier than some of them, but uh, it was worth it to me. So well, thanks for showing us your trailer. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I have Mitch here with me. So what? I like the color of your trailer, by the way. Thank you. Good choice. Thank you. Um, so what is something that you wish you would have added to the trailer that you didn't from the factory? Uh, the only thing that I know that I would have done different is on the galley. I would have got a 24 inch on the bottom mm -hmm. and from the mid shelf up, set it back to the 17 mm -hmm. to have like a nightstand or a headboard, to mm -hmm. put things when you're That's a great idea. Night. I don't think that's an option that's normally available, but that's a great idea. Right. Yeah. And what have you done to the trailer since you've gotten it yourself? Oh, uh, the only thing that I've done, we did install the fridge okay. in the fridge box yep. after the fact. And then we put some rot likes up under it mm -hmm. for nighttime. That Make sure way, there's no critters underneath right, when you're going to crawl exactly. in. <laughs> All right. But other than that, I think we've got about everything else you can get <laughs> at the time. Yep. And All very right. well pleased with it. Well, good. You've been getting out and doing some camping? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Definitely. We've been Mammoth Cave. We've been New River Gorge. Mm -hmm. uh, Shenandoah. We've done some on the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. Nice. So, so you're getting out there. So That's we're good. getting it done, and we just got it in April. So okay. We're yeah. on the move. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your trailer. Yes, thank you. And y'all, yeah. y'all was a lot of inspiration in us going this route. Good. Also, just so you know. Hi, I have Tracy here. So what? I love your trailer, by the way. No, thanks. So what is something that you do differently if you would do it again? Um, we talked about we would probably do the five by nine, okay. which I think everybody thinks they should have done the bigger size. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think I would use that foot. I would like to have some sort of nice storage, mm -hmm. something built 
yeah, yeah. something nice built down there mm -hmm. so that I can put shoes and like all of those kind of things and yep. to store things in. Definitely. Um, I think I would keep the same size bed. Mm -hmm. We ended up doing a full size instead of a queen size okay. mm -hmm. because our our trailer's so short mm -hmm. that we would have had to cut off the bottom of a queen size mattress, mm -hmm. but the full size was the exact size. Perfect. And we have a little bit of couple inches on either side to sort of tuck kind of things tuck in the and yeah. the More tablet the and tablets. the yep. candle and stuff kind of tuck in yep. so that's nice mm -hmm. but that and maybe the fenders oh, the be the better fenders you because we got fenders. a highway deluxe yep. and they come with those fenders yep. so yeah. maybe we, we would have upgraded those that. yeah yeah mm -hmm. so what is a mod that you've done to your trailer that you'd like to show off okay so <laughs> we haven't done very many big mods but when i when i cook i have to have everything where i can see it okay otherwise i can't find it mm -hmm. and so i really love this little shelf yeah. that we got at ikea and it holds everything and i it travels everything travels mm -hmm. right there and doesn't move and um and then i have the drawers which i love the drawers we have like all of our pots and pans mm -hmm. nest in there. Yep. And all of my kitchen tools all stay here. But I was losing little things in oh. the bottom of the drawers. Mm -hmm. And I love the pull out. So um, I got these little under shelf. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm and these came before. from Ikea also. And I got these to just put all the little knickknacks mm -hmm. in yes. so that I don't have to dig for them anymore. Ikea for the win. And then we just have these little puck lights all okay. over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because this light doesn't do any good. Oh, yours is on the top. Yeah, yeah. ours is mm -hmm. up there. And yeah. like that's... It's not going to light anything down low very well. No. Nope. So we have some in there, under the shelf in there. So if you don't want to wake somebody up mm -hmm. when you're digging around for something in the yep. middle of the night, you can just have the little light. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and cup holders in there, and that's about all we've done. And then uh, the storage rack oh, yep. is nice. We added that this year, and it has a waterproof bag on it, so mm -hmm. we just fill it with all the stuff that we want to keep dry. And Perfect. All right, well, thanks for showing storage. your trailer. Sure. All right, so I have Corey with me. So what have you changed from last year on your trailer? Well, this year I replaced the side LEDs that were like the puck style that mm -hmm. would just shine directly in your face. Very, and very bright. So I added a little touch okay. switch on the inside and it hold it down, it dims and brightens. Oh, nice. So very nice for an evening. Mm -hmm. And when you hear that bump in the night, you hold your finger on there and it's a spotlight again. Yeah. So that was very useful. Uh, I added the water packs to the front. Mm -hmm. uh, I use those like if I'm doing like a boom, more of a boondocking alongside a trout stream, go fill them up, bring them back. Oh yeah. And so mm -hmm. they come in very handy. And then is this awning new since last year? Uh, it's uh, finalized now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this awning I had a guy in Idaho who does ultralight backpacking stuff mm -hmm. make it for me. Uh, it's a lot of cubic feet of dry yes, space. Definitely. And quite the camp stove you got down here. That's a. <laughs> Chinese knockoffs of a solo stove. <laughs> I had to do a lot of re-engineering, re-drill holes, get the airflow. It mm -hmm. works great now. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. And my buddy who has a little solo stove uh, loves this one. When he comes with me, he's like, yeah. this is perfect for what we yeah. what we do here. It, it's a nice size. And then the, the pizza pan flipped up down for a heat shield. And nice. I have some aluminum plates I'll put in the back that okay. really just radiate the heat out. Mm -hmm. It's like a blast furnace. Very but nice. It works. Well, and, thank you. You know what, the hiker, always adjusting. There's always something to tinker with. Yeah. I have Will here with me. So what kind of trailer do you guys have? Uh, it's a uh, MR510. Okay. All right. So is there anything that you wish you would have ordered from the factory that you didn't? Yeah, the first thing I noticed is that uh, the, the two uh, roof rails, mm -hmm. the racks up here, uh, I wish I'd gotten an extra rack because with the shorter uh, awning, Mm -hmm. Got a like 23 shower zero room. shower room back mm -hmm. here. It would have fit nice with that uh, middle rail. Yes, we found that too. Um, yeah. So you have a really cool mod inside that you did for your. Uh, sure. Can you give us show that off to us? Uh, sure. 
Okay, so if you look on the back wall back there at the bottom, the, uh, uh, the passage into the galley was open when we got the, the trailer. So, so I got an extra uh, piece of paneling from Hiker uh, and then turned that into a door. So it opens up. Those two shiny uh, circles on the wall are magnets. And so it snaps open uh, and uh, so you locks. can move your mattress back. And so we can then... either move the mattress out or move longer stuff in if we want. Or fold it up, fold it up just enough to get the door open and then you can slide it out the back. Okay. So to help seal off, what I've done is I've put a, a jam in here, essentially quarter round mm -hmm. or shoe base. And the door shuts on to that. So to seal it off, there's also some foam. Uh, that way, bugs can't that. get into the. That way, bugs cabin. can't get in, so mm -hmm. it's it's all sealed off. Whole trailer's off the jackery. Whole trailer's off the jackery. What size jackery is that? That looks That's big. A, it's a 2000 Explorer wow. 2000 Pro. It comes with the 200 watt solar panels, which are really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I did with the um, cubby up top is I ran AC into there, so I can run mm. things like a CPAP oh, yep. up there. And also another uh, DC outlet. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for showing off your trailer. Yeah, you're welcome. So I have Patrick here with us, and it's nighttime, and you've got an awesome mod to show us. You bet. It's a LED light strip. It's called a 4 in 1. And uh, I've got it all set up for each rail on my 270. Uh, awning and it can go any color I want and I've got it all set up with these uh, waterproof wiring that I can disconnect and store it and this thing folds up nice and it doesn't kink the wires or anything. And when you close these bars it, the top one doesn't rub? The top one doesn't rub. That would have been what I would be afraid would happen. You know, poles pull right up. So basically are these taped on then? They're double stick tape. Okay. Yeah with um, zip ties on the ends just to reinforce. Just to kind of hold it off. from yeah. pulling off, okay. And then, oh, you just wrap the, the yep, um, wrapped it right on and then strap the, around it. And then okay. I disconnect here. Yeah. So these just hang loose and they're okay. not involved in any of the wrap up. Really? And then I just take this, throw it in a bag. Hmm. Over here, I've got the same thing. Disconnect here, here. Can you go to solid white so I can yeah. Let's see it without changing color? So that's solid nice. white. Uh, okay, so it's one of those, what do they call that? Like a wire weatherhead? Yeah, like a gland or whatever. I just yeah. fill a hole in and then run it through. And uh, so this is actually 24 volt. I wow. don't know if I needed to do that, but I went to 24 volt because it's actually, you know, 30 feet of LED strips. And I didn't want it to go down. Sure. So I got power supply just to the one, 110. Okay. And then this is the wireless. This is what controls it all. Okay. So you built this whole thing yourself? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Researched it and it all worked. I'm like, goodness. Because nice. you know, each one of those has to be soldered. And yep. it's called a four and one. So there's five solder points in that little strip. Wow. Um, but it worked great. Huh. Wow. So yeah, you've got just nice, good, clean light. All the way across yep. and in and front of the galley area. Yellow, if you want to make it amber. Yep. So if you got heavy bugs. Yep. Or if you, you change color it green because you think it's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. So oh, cool. So it's got its own little all app. different kinds, and you can even nice. adjust the edit the, the, how you want it to do mm -hmm. too. I haven't looked at all you can do with it. Wow. But then there's the color. Yep. Color wheel. Color wheel, and you can. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for showing us your lights because, you know, You're Matt welcome. loves his lights. <laughs> <laughs> I know he does. All right. So I have John and Natalie here with me. Hello. Welcome to the camp out. Thank you. So what kind of trailer, what size model do you have? Um, we have a 5x10 mid-range. Okay. Um, we got the 17-inch galley in the back. Okay. So you have a little bit different setup because you've got a little one that you're fitting inside with you. Yes. yes. And, and a nice large dog. I was going to say, <laughs> the 80-pound dog. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that you do differently if you're ordering your trailer today now that you've lived in it for a while? 
Um, I don't really think there's anything we would do differently. Um, I pretty much researched it a lot before we mm -hmm. um, chose everything, and mm -hmm. then we kind of talked about things, especially looking at things at the factory. We were able yeah. to go and look first. Yeah, we wanted um, to see it in person. Yes. So um, we did all that, and after looking at things, I think we had a pretty good idea of what we wanted. So. Well, good. Do you have any mod you'd like to show us? We do. So with our 85 pound dog and yep. a three year old, it was, we were trying to figure out the cabin space, which is yes. part of the reason why we got the 17 inch in the first place, um, our galley in the first place for extra room in the cabin, but yep. we actually built a shelf. Well, I guess my husband built the shelf. Oh, nice. I like five. that. So it has a big opening in the middle. Um, and then I actually sewed and designed the T dog bed. Because just in the middle, he wouldn't have fit. So and he needs me. The key part actually velcros open on both sides so we can get our shoes in the shoe Perfect. storage. And then also if you fold the other one in, it actually stores up inside flat in there so we can put more stuff in it when we're traveling and moving. Very well so. thought out. I like that setup with the shelving. I haven't seen anything like that kind of setup before. Yeah, there was a lot of sketches. I bet, <laughs> lots yes. And lots of sketches. <laughs> and that's what's nice about these trailers is you have the opportunity to make it your own and figure out what works for you. You realize every inch makes a difference. <laughs> yes. So where's Wendy sleeping? Uh, she actually sleeps with us in bed right now. Okay. I think our long-term plan is probably to get like an ARB or some other brand awning room yep. on the side. We thought about bunk, but between the bed and then room for the dog, it's just... <laughs> right. <laughs> something had to give. Yep. I like it. Well, thanks for showing your trailer. I appreciate it. Awesome. Right, thank thank you, you for coming by. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I don't know. When are you on? You on? You ready to go? We're going. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have Ashley and Bradley, right? Brady. Brady, yep. sorry. Yep. So I've got Ashley and Brady with me here in Addison. So how long, what trailer do you have? We have the mid-range XL, right? Five by 10. That's right. Okay. And, and so how long have you had yours for? Since July. All right. So this is our second trip. Out. The first trip was in Gulf Shores, okay, Alabama, yeah. <laughs> and it was very, very hot. So we were very happy to have the air conditioning. Good, yes, mm -hmm. so happy. So now that you've you've used it a few times, is there anything different that you would order on it than what you did originally? Honestly, so far, only thing would have been a plug. We only got the oh the USB the cigarette, the, the 12 USB volt. twelve volt. So mm -hmm. just a plug. Yeah. So but it, you put your inside. head in this end. We do. Because and we, of your mod. Because of our mod. I wanted it to go here because mm -hmm. I'm kind of like you. Like, I don't want to walk, get in and Which have my dirt, feet and but. whatever. But, you, you know, gotta for you her, gotta do you got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. So we did the bed for her. All right. So can you show us your mod? Sure. Absolutely. Oh, and then we covered this light with your, you know, the oh, with that laminate tape. Stuff? Mm -hmm. Because it's pretty bright. And then we did it on the mm -hmm. sides, you know. All right, so, so can you show us? So, yes, here? so this is the bed, and we just framed it with the insulation pipe, and it's two by four. Brady cut it in a little angle, so it just goes right beside the bed, and it's on hinges right now, and I think we'll figure out something a little different for that. And then in the back, it has it two on a hinge as well. Oh, you do have the we 24. We did get okay. to be the 24, and we split... The top, the top okay. which I might have found from you. Did you guys do that? Somebody did that, and I thought I that was a great it's an idea. That they offer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she has her little cubby holes with her stuff, and then we have a couple here. And we're so what do you do so. with your clothing then in here? You know, I keep my clothing in those three drawers in the car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For mm -hmm. right now, like I said, we're still, still learning. It's and only your second trip. You're still figuring and, things yeah, out. Yes. Exactly. So uh, I think I'm going to get three bins to put like some clothes, mm -hmm. just our daily changeables maybe yep. in there. And, nice. You know, but it's evolving. evolving. Yes. yes, exactly. Is it our unicorn? We wondered whose that was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be uh, having a sprinkler later. Oh, fun. <laughs> Thanks Thank for showing you your trailer. Thank you for coming. It was so I'm glad fun. you guys could come and join yeah. us. All right. So I have Dan here with me. So you guys are saying that you feel like you're maybe one of the most minimalist trailers I, I here. Think, I think we are, yeah. So what size and what model trailer do you guys have? We have, have? a 5x9 and we have the off-road uh, XL. Okay, nice. So what if you were going to order your trailer again today, is there anything you do differently? I, I really don't think I would, honestly. I think we kind of researched it enough and stuff, you know, in advance of that. And so we kind of got what we wanted. Perfect. And, yeah, we're pretty happy with it, actually. Are there any mods that you've done to it that you'd like to show off? 
We could show off our pinstriping. I don't know if that's a, considered a mod. <laughs> it is a mod, <laughs> yes. It was done by a professional pinstriper that's won a bunch of uh, awards for his Very his cool. And, stuff. and then we had a trip planned um, in it, and um, her mom passed away right before the trip. Okay. And so we named the... Uh, to name it after her mom. We put her mom's oh, name on it. That's uh, special. She's with her mom all the time. Mm -hmm. And you, you were saying that your mom loved to camp. Yeah, she did. So she it's did. honoring yeah. to her. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing your trailer. Sure. I appreciate uh -huh. it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have Francie here with me. Hi. What kind of trailer do you have? Okay. We have the mid range um, of 510, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. Sorry. 5 by 10. Perfect. Uh -huh. And you've got a great uh, tent up above. What kind of tent is that one? Okay. So that's a walkabout. It's a 23-0. Nice. So if you were going to order your trailer today, would you do anything different? Yes. We would probably get the XL to make it taller because for the awning part, the awning, definitely. When yeah. you when you see me walk in there, I'm I, you have to duck yeah, me. I'm a tall person, and it's mm -hmm. not very tall. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that we tell people that look that are taller, like to consider that. Yes, definitely. We would have gone with that, um, and that really, truly, that's the only real complaint we have so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, are there any mods that you've done to it that you'd like to show us? Well, sure. I can show you um, the window coverage. We well, here's our twenty two zero. We use this bag. I hope everybody just, that's wonderful to have to put your shoes in. But then um, we, we got these windows. We got them off of Etsy. And so then it oh, just nice. completely covers. Mm -hmm. And you're not trying to find something to attach. Yeah, How does right. this attach? Um, it, it is actually, we screws in. Oh, okay. So we, we had to put, put those in the attachments and then mm -hmm. it just goes down. And then it's so nice because I know not everybody has the window, mm -hmm. but now we can utilize those windows and um, um, have them open for some. And you found that on Etsy? Yes, we sure did. Very nice. Yeah. There's space in here, huh? Yeah. These windows for yeah. a breeze to come through. Yep. Very good. It's very comfortable. And then you've got a nice room down here for changing if you need. Yep. Yep. And that's, that's what we use it for. Mm hmm. This bag up here, we've seen it a lot of times, like under the door, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen it hanging up here like this before. Well, and, That's and, nice. it, and it keeps it dry up here, just like it does on the door, because mm -hmm. it's under underneath the awning. Yep. So yeah, we we've used it like that quite a bit. Nice. Well, thanks for showing us your trailer. Well, thank you. So I have Chris here with me. What kind of trailer do you guys have? Uh, five by nine uh, mid range. Okay. So if you're going to order the trailer again today, is there anything you do differently? Uh, Longer, 10 foot. Make it 10 foot, yeah. yeah. That extra foot just gives you that much more storage yes. and something small. Um, and then is there a mod that you've made that you'd like to show us? Uh, that is a, a thick uh, mattress. Wow. It's a, from uh, Lowe's, it's a, like oh, a, comp is that like a 10 it's inch? It's a 10 inch, yeah. yeah. Wow, I think nice. lower would have been better, giving you a little more headroom, but it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you need so, a little step to get in there? No, I just kind of. No. Jump in, I'm tall. <laughs> You're a little taller than us. True, true. We got vertical challenges. Yeah. Up. Yeah. So it's nice to and, see uh, the simple ones. Like you just need to get out. It gives you a way to get up the, off the ground. Uh, the vents. Mm -hmm. uh, I took a piece of three inch PVC and I cut a small piece out of it, laid the screen on there, pushed it in, and uh, mm -hmm. cut the screen off. Nice. It's a good way to keep the bugs out and get yeah. good airflow. Yeah. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Well, thanks for showing that to us. Did you see anything that caught your eye? If so, comment down below. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the HTC E5 Trailer Tours. See you again next week as we talk with more hiker trailer owners.